Hi, welcome to an Arduino step-by-step -step course by RoboJax. In this video, we are going to learn how to control four DC motors that you might need to use for robot car or any other application using L293D motor shield with Arduino. This is Arduino Uno motor shield. I'm going to demonstrate and show you how to use it with Arduino Uno and also Arduino Mega. In both cases, this shield can be used. Now let me explain the module. The module has external power source. You will connect your battery or power that you have at this point. And then for each motor, we can use two terminals. These two left terminals are labeled as M1. So this will be your motor one. And then this is motor two. And these two terminal here is motor four and these two are motor three. Do not worry about the middle wire here. So two motors on this side, two motors, one and two here, and three and four there. So maybe these two could be connected to front wheels, and this will be for the uh, rear wheel, whichever way you prefer. The most important element is this uh, jumper. This is now removed. Just connect this here and program it we call this we call this shield because it's just shielding or covering this arduino and it being inserted from the top so it eliminates a lot of extra wiring this is one of the best way to do prototyping or working some on projects so all these wiring are already done you just need to connect these few wires otherwise there will be a huge mess with connecting so many wires shield can be also inserted or attached to Arduino Mega. Make sure that you attach it to these pins because these are exact configuration as Arduino Uno. So pin one is here at pin one and here every other pin for aligned. Here is a data sheet for L293 and L293D. This is a quadruple half edge bridge. So what it means is one chip or one IC can control two motors fully or four motors in one direction, which will be half bridge. And it can work with 4.5 up to 36 volts and 600 milliampere for the uh, per channel for L293D. So the maximum current is 600 milliampere. A separate video explained this fully, so I'm not gonna spend any time on explaining the chip here. You're programming your Arduino, you will plug this in and make sure that this is removed. In this case, the Arduino will be powered via USB. And here is the wiring diagram. If you need it, one motor will be connected at these terminals. The second motor will be in here. The third and fourth will be connected like that. And your power supply will be connected in here, which will be from five to 16 volts. On the module, we have L293D, two pieces, because one can control two motors. So we have two of this, two, so this will control two motors that are connected in here, and this chip, L293D, will control two motors. These two chips will be controlled by this other chip, and we are not worried how this functions, because it will be just waste of time. We just connect it, and it will work. Um, but you need separate external power. For the power, because the, this power will power your motor, and from this, it will go to Arduino. 
either Arduino Nano or Mega that you have, it will power this as well. So you do need external power. Just connect one power here and it will be up to 16 volts. So the 16 volts will come and enter from this pin. It will enter when you connect it and it will power your Arduino as well. But in order for this to work, you must connect this chip, uh, this jumper. Once you connect it, the power will go to Arduino as well and we will power it up. So you will leave this as is and here two motors will be connected on this, two motors in here. The polarity doesn't matter because you will switch it and it will change the direction of rotation. So this does not have a polarity, it's up to you, positive, negative, however you want to connect. But this is for one motor, another motor and the same way in here. Each motor can be whatever voltage that you have, whatever voltage is your, uh, of your motor, if it is 5 volts, then connect 5 volts here. If your motor is 12 volts, connect 12 volts and it will work. Uh, but pay attention that your motor cannot uh, draw or cannot consume more than 600 milliampere. So your motor must have lower power consumption than 600 milliampere each. Now, how you calculate the power? If your motor 1 is 600, then 4 times 6, 2400 milliampere power is needed. So you will connect a power adapter or battery or something that can supply uh, 2400 milliampere or 2.4 ampere. Otherwise, your motor will not run properly. Now, external power is connected, but the motors are not running because I did not put this jumper. Let me just put this jumper. Now the motors will have power, or do we know it's powered up? and they will run. So if, if I remove this, Arduino will not receive any power. Arduino Uno that is at the bottom will not receive power, so this will not run. Now Arduino is powered up and all these will run. If you found this tutorial helpful, please thumb up and also click on the subscribe on the right side in the lower corner. I really appreciate it. Let me now explain the code. The first thing you need to do is to install the library. First, while you are connected to the internet, click on Sketch, Include Library, and then Manage Libraries. Wait for this to complete. And here type Adafruit Motor Shield and wait for it and you can see it says Adafruit Motor Shield Library by Adafruit. So you will see it here right now and you will see install button in here. Click to install and wait for the bar graph to complete. It will be installed. In my case it is installed and it says installed. Then close this. The library has some examples when you click on file, examples, and add a fruit motor shield. These are the examples, but this is not ready for you to use directly, so I'm providing you this code. This line, it says that use add a fruit library. So this is including the library, and here the fun begins in here. This is from the class. We create an object for a motor. We call it motor one, and we put number one so this number one refers to the pins and connectivity for motor one, and this is for motor two, three, and four. But this word, you can change it. For example, you can put front left, mood, front left, complete word, front right, and rear or front or back, whatever you want. You can change it if your application needs different method conversion. But for simplicity, I just called it motor 1, 2, 3, and 4. And this line just initializes the serial monitor if you want to print something. And this is just printing the text. We don't do anything because the library is taking care of everything. So we created an object called motor 1. And the same way we created motor 2, 3, and 4. And very simple. First, we set the speed of motor. It says set speed. And here we will enter some value between 0 to 255. 
So that is different speed from zero means stop, 255 means maximum speed. Because 255 is a Arduino-based value and it's not intuitive for many applications, I created a function called speed and you enter the speed in percent. 100 mean 100 percent. If you want 50 percent, just put 50 or 10, whatever you want. And but you use it like this. So this is a function called speed. It takes the 50 and converts it to appropriate value that is needed for this spot that you enter. And so once you set the speed for motor one, then you take action. Motor one dot run and then forward. So this will send the motor forward. And th this line, it says, keep it for two seconds at that forward direction with that speed. So whatever you set, it will continue until as long as this is true, or after this, if you change it. And here, after two seconds, motor two will turn on with 100%. It goes forward. If you want to change it to backward, just say, backward and it will go to the backward and the same way motor 3 so let's say I want to set it to 70 percent forward and then motor 4 90 percent speed <coughs> so at, at, at this stage just motor 1 is running and all other, motor, other motors are stopped, so motor 2 is now running. And then after 2 seconds, motor 3 is running, and after 2 seconds, motor 4 is running. If you want to run all of them, just remove this delay, and all motors will run together. So when you want to release it or stop it, just put motor number, motor 1, for example, dot run, release. So this will release the motor from controlling and it will stop. We do not have proper proper brake here. Uh, they have B-R-A-K-E. It's supposed to be fast brake, but it doesn't work much. And that's it. So this is speed, when you put 100, it comes to this function that I've written. And the value that you have, that number, let's say 80 or whatever, it will come here to this function called map, that percent, let's say you have 80, 80 will come here and we say this value, which is from 0 to 100, whatever it is, map it or do the calculation, for, make the 0, 0 and 100, 255. And whatever number is in between will be appropriately mapped and the result of this calculation will be returned back. When we say return, it fills up this area with a proper value. So that's it. So that's uh, taking care of the value. So you don't worry about 255 or anything. Just enter in terms of percent. So you know the exact speed. And once you set everything, just click to upload your code. And go to Tools, Board Manager, from here. Select Arduino Mega 256. Now here is the demonstration of controlling four motors. I've set the code that one motor will turn on and the other one and the other one and the other one. So the motor starts from here motor 1, 2, and then motor 3 and 4. And after that, it will stop. So I'm, I'm removing this plug here and putting it on this side. And the motor will start running. Now motor 3, and then this is now motor 4, and all of them will stop. Again, it goes to motor 1, and then motor 2. three and then four.
Now I've uploaded the code to Arduino Mega. Let me power this up. The same code is now running with Arduino Mega. Please make sure to subscribe by clicking at the subscribe button in here. Thank you. Thank you for watching tutorial from Robojax. If you learned something and found this useful, please thumb up. If you have comment or question, please post it at the comment section below. I try to answer and reply. And don't forget to subscribe so you get updates of my upcoming videos.